Hi, I'm here to talk to you about Endosy, the innovative system that makes hysteroscopy simpler than ever. This all-in-one handheld portable system lets you perform diagnostic hysteroscopy in any room at any site. First, let's walk through how simple it is to set up the room for Endosy. Later, we'll take a look at performing hysteroscopy with this one-of-a-kind device. Setup for hysteroscopy in your office is simple and quick. In addition to the Endosy system itself, here's what you'll want to have on hand. Speculum, dilator set, tenaculum, uterine sound, gauze, betadine, and sterile saline. Sterile saline can be infused with either a syringe or an IV bag with appropriate tubing. For saline infusion, you can use a 60cc syringe with about 3 feet of extension tubing and a basin of sterile saline. Or you can use a bag of saline hung on an IV pole with a pressure cuff. That's the simple setup process. NOC is all in one, so you don't need an external light source, camera, monitor, or system for photo and video capture. NOC alone does it all. You've seen how simple it is to set up for hysteroscopy with Endosy. Now take a look at performing hysteroscopy with this innovative device. To begin, turn on the Endosy handset and enter the patient ID number. Align the red dots to connect the handset to the cannula and then connect the tubing to infuse saline and purge the system of air. Endosy is now fully assembled and ready for use. The Endosy cannula is less than five millimeters in diameter, similar to a pipelle. The need for dilation, anesthesia, or anti-anxiety medication for patient comfort should be decided on a case-by-case -case basis. The cannula is flexible, so depending on the patient's anatomy, a tenaculum may help you stabilize the cervix and align the cervical canal with the uterine cavity. If you have difficulty maneuvering endosy due to a tight cervical canal, it is helpful to use your non-dominant hand to hold the cannula near the vaginal introitus to help rotate the device and guide it in. Infuse saline to distend the uterus until you achieve optimal visualization. When viewing the sides of the uterine cavity, including the tubal ostea, Rotate the entire device. The image on the handset always remains upright. To capture still photos during the procedure, simply press the camera button once. For video, press and hold the camera button until the green dot in the upper right-hand corner of the display changes to a red blinking dot. To stop recording, press the camera button one more time. Once the procedure is complete, Press the power button to turn the system off. Keep the handset vertical with the cannula directed down so fluid doesn't drip onto the handset. Without twisting, remove the cannula by pulling straight out and dispose of it. Then disinfect the handset. After the procedure, you can easily play back photos or video from the Endosy handset to show your patients. To charge the battery, connect the handset to the dock, then the charging cable to the handset. It is recommended that the handset be placed on the dock for continuous charge when not in use. To download photo and video, connect the USB cable to a computer and turn the handset on. Endosy will show up as a device, just like a digital camera. The all-in-one Endosy system lets you perform in-office hysteroscopy in any room, at any site. The sterile, single-use cannula gives you a new light source and camera for every patient. Endosy captures both still and video imagery, and the rechargeable battery lasts at least two hours.